This episode, we join our aviation manager and chief pilot, Hannes van Weyck, known as our Bush Encyclopedia. Hannes is a go-to expert on all things nature. Today we ask, what's something small in nature that makes a big impact? Morning everybody, Hannes, yeah. So I've been sitting this weekend sculpting and I saw this bee buzzing around uh, this vintage chair I like to sit on, which is a, a wooden chair. And I went in to just inspect what kind of a bee it was and saw it was a carter bee. This time of the year, they'll, they'll start breeding. And then basically the females, then when they're ready, start looking for places where to lay the eggs. So she's been coming backwards and forwards from this chair inspecting cavities. Plants, they've got their own insect repellent in it, so there's only a few trees that she was interested in, um, didn't see cavities and would come back to the chair and has finally chosen to use it as the place where she's going to lay her eggs. They'll carry all kinds of material in there and they start creating a capsule and she'll lay the egg and then fill it up with pollen and nectar and then cap it off. And when the egg hatches, the larva will then come out and eat the pollen and the nectar and then go into its further life cycle and come out as a quarter bee. What is nice about all of this is that quarter bees are very individualistic insects. So they don't create um, uh, hives and, and, and big swarms. So they go around and it's very pretty cool for them to find very safe areas where they can lay their eggs because they don't have the safety in numbers. What is nice for me is that something that I use for comfort purposes to sit on and then and, and enjoy my coffee and, 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 and reminisce about life. This bee has found as a viable place to lay eggs and feel it was safe enough. And this shows the uniqueness in, in life between us as humans and wildlife. Without the carter bees, you won't have pollination. You know, your garden wouldn't flourish. And if the garden's on flourishing, it's, it's, there's no home for other insects or birds or other critters. And I think this is the, the big thing a lot of people miss out on is that everybody focuses on the big creatures, but not really on the smaller creatures. Each and every living organism has got a, quite a crucial role to play in the ecosystem and, and keeping the environment healthy and very much balanced. So if you don't use pesticides, for example, to kill off all insects, the health of your own garden starts improving as there's more insects and, and, and the health starts coming back, you'll start noticing uh, foam nest frogs, um, paper wasps making their nests and things like that. You've got a whole array of birds coming in, you'll have snakes coming in. So all of that contributes to that health. And it was quite nice to see that and that all could start off just from this carter bee that was making a nest and allowing her to make a nest. It, it's quite unique and it's, it's, it's quite a privilege to see these kind of things happening. And especially on your, on your quiet time to enjoy the smaller things in life coming around and showing you how magical it is and what a privilege it is to be uh, alive and, and, and amongst all of these living organisms and nature. Don't forget to drop your burning conservation questions for Hannes in the comments. Stay tuned to Peace Parks TV for weekly on-the-ground updates.